Hello, Pisces. It's time for your mid-December to January read of this current year. And my co-workers interrupting my background music. That's okay, though. Anyway. Let us see. What are we up to? We're up to 5-3. Well, I am anyway. Anyway, Pisces and Crosswatchers. This is for the sign of Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. If this resonates with you, good deal. If not, don't worry about it. Just boop your nose and away it goes. There's no point in worrying about shit. If it ain't about you, it doesn't sound like you, none of that jazz, right? I was like cursing, so if you don't, I'm sorry. I'm probably not the one for you. My apologies. Newcomers, first readings on the house. All the other information's in the description box below. So enjoy. Let's see what we got for you first. We got you and your element, Pisces. And then we have the Ace of Swords. You probably can't see that because of the glare. It looks like that. It's daytime in my house right now. Because I'm off today. Yay. Situation is the truth coming out. For sure. Let's see. Then we got the wants and wishes, ten of cups, that happy ending, right? Obstacles and challenges, though, is the ace of cups right here. A new beginning, possibly with love, and you might be offering your cup to that love, right? Fears and rejections deals with the queen of pentacles, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo type, right? How this shit starts, how it'll end, the king of wands, Leo Sag Aries. You got two beginnings here, too, so I might have to flip them. Not being able to let go of something even though you want to. Eight of Cups reverse. Like, that one cup is like a fucking invisible wall just blocking your way. Just right there. There, you sour bitch. Okay. So! Let's see, Pisces. You definitely... Are you possibly looking at a new love with a Queen of Pentacles right here? Oh my. Okay. Let's see, Pisces. Last time you had the, it, like, there was some relationship you were dealing with that is old. And I don't think served you anymore. There's something here you're definitely ready to fight for. That is your card. Also Scorpio or Cancer as well, Pisces. But justice is all out of fucking whack, right? With the justice card. Libra, shadow side reverse, right? Especially when it comes to a brand new beginning right here with the Ace of Wands. You have three fucking aces, y'all. Like, lots of opportunities for you. Norm okay, so I'm not going to flip these because I just haven't been doing it anyway. But it's like... I would say with this row, it would be aggressive. And I feel like out of character to um, try to fight for a beginning like that because then it won't happen. So with this Ace of Swords right here, this is the situation. The truth of the matter is you're kind of stuck in your feels and your brain. And it's causing a lot of indecision, uh, which is what's making this offer slow and moving. Could be with this Earth sign you might be dealing with. Because things are unfair right now. There's no balance. Once again, could be dealing with a Libra as well since it's the Six of Pentacles and it talks about balance. All right. Wants and wishes. Ten of Cups. That family feel being secure in what you got, right? But it doesn't seem like that's happening or anything's changing for it. And you want to let your guard down. Hey, 
Pisces, are you falling in love with somebody? Everybody's dealing with a relationship, and yours actually looks pretty nice. Yours doesn't look like absolute, like, insanity and shit like everyone else's has. Yours actually looks pretty welcome. Obstacle and challenge, though, with this Ace of Cups. There is a world that someone has built. Call him Bob the Builder, right? But they've trapped themselves because of it. And the person on the inside waiting for them is no longer caring. Well. Hmm. Well, Pisces, you are the master of illusions, and you guys do see perception as a big thing, right? Some of you do, not all of you. But, um, you know, there's the truth, and then there's the perception of the truth, you know? Like, truth is not just this one and cumbersome thing. Like, yeah, there are things that, like, we will never see, we will never know, but unless you have a camera there, but even still, like, who knows? But when you really think about it, like, the truth is like a particle. It comes as a, moves as a particle and a wave, or whatever the fuck it is I'm trying to talk about anyway. Um, there are many, many forms to looking at perception. I feel like you're perceiving yourself as stuck while the person who's waiting for you is getting bored. Of waiting, anyway. Not of you, just of the waiting period. It's just like, well, fuck it, if they're not gonna show up, but you're stuck in the box, so. Well, you're stuck behind swords, but same difference. These will just cut you or electrocute you or whatever the fuck it is they do. I really don't know. What kind of swords are those? Are those like Dark Soul ghost swords or whatever? I'm not sure. Yeah. Anyway, Queen of Pentacles, right? Capricorn Taurus, a Virgo type, motherly figure. She feels like no one's paying attention to her. This could be you or someone you're dealing with. She's at the end of a burden right here. Trying to sacrifice a vice. Possibly you. Or you're afraid that she's just going to not want to carry this on anymore and give you up. You might be a mist. Okay. Well, I, I thought you might be a mistress. You, because this is my mistress card. Could also be a cancer who's a mistress too, so it could be someone in the background. But, you know, yours is a little bit like... Well, are you dealing with a Capricorn? Because your card showed up there, too. Like, are you somebody's mistress? And you're afraid they're going to have to reject you? How this shit starts, how it'll end. King of Wands, Leo, Sag, Aries, right? Good with kids. Fun, loving, happy individual, right? Might not want to reach out and communicate. Might not. Might not. It's like it feels like like uh, it, like he's got a friendly face, but he could easily be a demon or a s something. Like I don't like that vibe. Like not a little bit. You know, not a very good dream, and he doesn't run in when disaster is there. Like his lack of action causes disaster. Or do you feel like engaging with him could cause a disaster? And that's why you're avoiding it. But not like engaging is what's causing this disaster to begin with? Hmm. Interesting. And you're as fucking bored with it like a Becky. Just fucking bored. <laughs> what's the ending theme, please? Trying to steady yourself in the material world, well, you know, feeling like you want to fucking escape and you can't. Everything looks rosy on the outside, but on the inside, it's like, you know? You or the person you're dealing with, Pisces and Crosswatcher, of course, respectively. This fucking sun. I swear, this sun. So let's see. What we got for the energy. Definitely a pairing here with the lovers. 
Someone's just gonna have to go and get into the cookie jar once in a while. Okay, so remember when I said you guys have like a really cute, awesome kind of reading compared to everybody else's? No, I, I was wrong. I was wrong because you too are dealing with some crazy too, Pisces. It's like there's somebody old you're done with, but there's somebody new who's just like, hmm, right? Devil in the situation. Someone might not let you catch a break. You know, you might want to go to sleep, or maybe you're doing this to them. I can see you doing this to them without really thinking. Would it be cute? Like you're just coming in trying to give them whatever, or they're trying to do that to you. Maybe they give you a flower, and it's just like it's bothersome to you, you know? Um, you feel like you have to give... A lot to a fucking no, maybe. Or maybe that's how they feel with you, because this is an earth sign, too. Like, you want to give them so much, and it's like, irritates them? But it's like they give you gold, and you're a gnome, and you're just happy. You'd be like, ah, it's shiny, and you know? But like, well, I don't know, because that's kind of like condescending. I apologize. But it's like, it's almost like what they give you makes you giddy and it feels like what you give them is just it makes you worry it's not good or it's gonna bother them or some shit um, and the wants and wishes um, someone can't go home go back to the way things were but they gotta go elsewhere now I'm dropping one more on that cuz I'm slightly confused um, Sorry, didn't mean to have it that high. Um, hmm. Emperor Reverse. They gotta go with an Emperor Reverse? He was not a very nice gentleman, I will say. Hmm. Could be an Aries. Yeah, I'm dropping another one on that because I'm not entirely sure what that's trying to say. Like, someone can't go home, so I gotta travel somewhere. And then there's. Is it traveling back to this Emperor Reverse? Or is it another scenario or another person? Yeah, this is. Like, they have. They probably have to go back to some. This want and wish with somebody is probably having to go back with somebody who tells them what to do and just ruins their good fucking time. Sun Reverse, right? Down below in the obstacle and challenge, right? At a crossroads with somebody, they're helping you out along the way. Pisces and cross watches. Um, possibly to help you with an offer you want to make. Because they might be tired of carrying the burden too. Oh, that's cute. That's actually rather cute, guys. Ah, that was not. That was a whole bunch, right? Fears and rejections. Someone might possibly walk away because things won't work out. Fuck it, I'll drop one more on that. Might as well. Wondering where they're going to, or if they're going to call or text or come back a little bit. All right, final row, guys, and we're done. You're afraid this person is definitely going to leave you out. Pisces, you sound like you're in love a little bit. I don't know if they know that, but it, that's what it sounds like. I'm not sure. Anyway. Well, looky here. We got two swords. Feels like two people are battling either over you or about you. They can't let shit go. And something doesn't seem to work in their favor. Mm. How interesting. That's what I got for y'all, Pisces and Cross Watchers. So if you enjoyed this video, please like, share, and subscribe. Sorry you can only see so much of the cards because it's fucking light. Actually, I don't know how bad. Yeah, that's pretty bad. In fact, you can't see the top of the cards because of all the light from the window. Thanks.
appreciate that. Sorry, guys. I didn't mean to make it that dark. Anyway, um, if you did enjoy this reading, please like, share, and subscribe. You don't have to if you don't want to, but I would greatly appreciate it. Um, I love y'all's faces. I will see you later. Bye-bye.